So this came out of a uh, box of junk PCBs and looked to me like it's a great candidate for some parts recovery, especially this gorgeous uh, large LCD up here. I don't know if it's a single line or dual line, but it just was a shame to see it in the trash. So I'm going to go ahead and begin some disassembly here. Definitely worth picking up. It's a pretty nice panel. It's got this backing board on it. We've got a device here and a text tool socket that I suspect is going to be a flash memory of some kind. It's a 29EE010, so I believe it's an electrically erasable ROM, one megabit or megabyte. So that's certainly worth holding on to. There's another device under here, again with the label on it. M27C, uh, it's a one megabyte EEPROM it looks like, and I suspect it was a one-time programmable being labeled M27C, so that probably has no real reclaim value. Down in the socket here, we have a 68HC11. Chip puller. Appropriate tool. Definitely worth getting the appropriate tool. getting warm in the lab already. It's really muggy here the last few days. So let's see if I have any shot at unsoldering those. What I'm going to do is add a bit of fresh solder. Where did the other one go? fell out. And that one fell out. Very nice. A couple of nice heat sinks. LM317K. And LM317K. So those are voltage regulators. We've got all this thermal compound. Let me see if I can get it cleaned off so I just don't spread it everywhere. I think the 
text tool socket's well worth going after. You know, whatever brand it is. Let's see if we have a shot at getting it out of there. I am going to add solder to start. Again, don't really care how that looks. Let's just try to get a bit of fresh solder down on there. And we'll get in here and see if we have a shot at this. very happy with that how that came out nice socket Got some relays up there of course the Dallas chip I'm just trying to think of what else here I really want to try to pull off of here Let's see if I can get this screw connector off that oh well, I see how that was put together and it was on actually incorrectly which is even more interesting nice it was actually off by a pin it's an RS232 port Zero four seven five point five volt battery backup cap for the real time clock. May consider pulling out. Let's clean the tip up here. It's gotten pretty pretty nasty. Got this little PCB mount switch. Lots of parts I don't recognize. Watch crystal for, again for the RTC. crystal. There's another crystal on here. I tend to retrieve all the crystals off boards. Uh, here on this end. Don't know how 
useful a crystal, but you know, it'll go into the container of crystals. 3.57945, so it's color burst crystal. That's interesting. Let's grab in here. I guess let's go after the real time clock. Why not? discolored underneath he might be starting to leak not even gonna chance it Let's see if the RTC chip will come up out of course it came out nice and easy another crystal Point oh five nine two. That's okay. Interesting value. These were five volt relays. Which makes them worth pulling. Ah. If they're easy to drive. Ah. amount of lead length left. Ah. Ah. Which definitely makes them reusable. A couple of nice little electromechanical relays. And there were some nice parts come off. I don't know if this IC socket's worth pulling. I don't really have a lot of that style sockets. Good solder well. So we'll add some solder back to it and try again. Uh, I guess this really is just a double-sided board looking at it. I was thinking it was multi-layer. Ah. The question is, oh look at that. So if there's a reason to buy a decent desoldering tool, there it is. This socket just fell out. I had one pin I had to reflow. Socket's barely even warm. That was part of why I staggered the sides of the, the socket as I worked my way around. was trying to limit the heat to one side and let it cool. I moved the other. That just came right out of there. That is very nice. Very happy with how that came out. socket. A 12 volt DC relay there I missed before. Boom. 
Nice little oh, easy pull. There. I'll just get sorted into my little power resistor box, assuming he's come loose here. He's got crimp leads, which is why I gotta kind of wedge him up out of there. That'll go into the little power resistor. Uh, set of drawers. 3904. I did see a couple of... They were down here that I suspect are three pin regulators. 78L05 and 74L12. So there's three little voltage regulators here that are worth retrieving. <laughs> Two of the three leads loose. There it is. Little three pin voltage regulator. Got two of the pins loose. I have to just use the soldering pencil and wedge him out of there. There's two little three pin voltage regulators. Uh, I think it was a negative five and uh, either a plus 12 or a negative 12. Those are worth pulling just to go to the container of voltage regulators. That would bridge up there that I don't care about. Leads are really short, and that's the problem with a lot of these parts. The leads have been trimmed really short, it just doesn't make them worth. Pull another 3904. Don't recognize the part. Again, if you didn't have a decent transistor stock, this would be a nice way to you know get some devices. There's some decent little transistors floating around here for what they are. You know, this would be a good board if you were just trying to start up a stock. I sometimes pull the tantalums. I sometimes don't. They're notorious for exploding. Lots of 3904s. Well, not as much reclaimed as I wanted there to be. You know, these film caps. Again, I'm just pulling what I can actually shuffle into my stock that has some value for me. Uh, your mileage will vary, of course. I don't know what a 73K2243, 73K224 L-IP. It's a TDK part, I have no clue. Well, that's probably enough boring video of me and soldering components. There's an opto isolator there. Guess I'll say goodbye and we'll talk soon.